Hey Pokemon fans, welcome to the decks where we cover trivia and strategy for a different Pokemon each week. I'm Polka Kells. And I'm Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey? Yeah. Like the martial artist? No, like the Pokemon master. Didn't you know she's a huge Pokemon fan? Well, yeah, everybody and their mother tweeted us about it, but why are you her? Well, this week's Pokemon reminds me of her because they both kick so much butt. Okay. Well, real talk though, let's get her as a guest. Tweet at her. We love you, Ronda. It's Lapany. Lopinee's the rabbit Pokemon. It evolves from Baneri in Gen 4. It's a cute humanoid bunny thingy with lop ears, which means they hang down instead of up. How cute is that? Answer, real cute. Yeah, man. Lop-eared rabbits are super popular as pets for that exact reason. And while they're all cute, breeds vary. There's the small, compact Holland Lop, the furball-looking Fuzzy Lop, and the one Lopinee probably is, the English Lop. The English Lop is the OG lop-eared breed. They have the longest ears of all the lops, and they're usually more slender than the others too, just like Lopinee. Look how cute it is when it stands up. But as is often the case, that's not all there is to Lopini. It's not? No, check out those wristbands and those boots and look at when she mega evolves. What about those pants and those hair accessories? Uh-oh, you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, Shrek, yes. Lopini is a Pokemon that wears clothes. Also, go wear clothes. <sighs> point, I feel like the general consensus is that Mega Lop and he's a kickboxer, right? Or at least some kind of 80s aerobics workout deal? Probably mostly true, but take a look at the Pokedex entry again. It is very conscious of its looks and never fails to groom its ears. Hmm. Wait, are you saying that it dresses up to work out because it's self-conscious about its body image? Is that why most people consider Lopini to be kind of sexy? Am I getting too deep? I don't think so. Let's drop some knowledge about Playboy. That's right, we went there. Everybody looks at Lopunny and thinks Playboy Bunny, but that's crazy, right? Actually, not really. Playboy Bunnies were originally waitresses at Hugh Hefner's many Playboy clubs, an idea he thought of in college after going to a restaurant called Bunny's Tavern. The bunny suit, as it's called, consists of a corset teddy with a cotton tail, cuffs just like Lopunny's, and those trademark Playboy Bunny ears. Classic. Obviously, the bunnies became a very popular cultural icon, but in Japan, they took it to another level. There, the bunny look transcended even the Playboy brand to become a general symbol of sexiness, and even has its own archetype in moe anthropomorphism, the kimono mimi. The kimono mimi is designed to elicit feelings of affection, but it's important to make the distinction between pure eroticism and moe's more fantastical and imaginary vibe, which is why many characters take the form of human-slash-animal hybrids rather than, like, nasty porn stars. Kimono Mimi specifically means animal ears, and is usually depicted as mostly human but with cute ears and tails, one of the most popular of which is the Bunny Girl, which, come on, is obviously the inspiration behind Lopunny. I'm with you. After all, Lopunny's Japanese name is Mimi Lop. Mimi Lop? Kimono Mimi? Ears? Case clothes. Also, go wear clothes. Still not a fan of that slogan. Oh, come on, don't talk that way to Ronda Rousey. You are not Ronda okay, Rousey. Okay, fine, but if you want, I can teach you how to knock out your opponents in 34 seconds just like her. Battle strategy, I presume? You know it. Pokemon! Ronda, please be on our show. Where there was once just a pretty face, there is now Megalopony. And boy, does she kick major bootay. Start with the jolly one and super train it in attack and speed. Mega Lop's got the ability Scrappy, which allows her to hit ghost types with normal and fighting type moves. But just in case, make sure your regular Lopunny has Limber so she can't get paralyzed before you Mega. Fake Out is a great first move for Lopunny since its priority lets her Mega evolve safely against any opponent. But her beast attacks that also makes it a pretty worthwhile way to rack up some serious extra damage. Lopunny also has access to Power Up Punch, which you should use because even after one punch, she's pretty much so damn scary. I'm talking like even physical walls will be shaking in their boots, dudes. And finally, High Jump Kick and Return, both with Stab, offer perfect coverage thanks to a little ability called Scrappy. And if you don't get at least one KO with Lopunny after all that, you need to go back to school. And that's it. Of course, that's not the only way to train a Lopunny, so as always, here are a few random thoughts. Power Up Punch also pairs well with Substitute, so use it a few times to safely boost your attack to crazy levels. If you want to get extra crazy, add Encore to the mix, too. Free boosts all day, and you're causing damage to boot. Fiendish. If you're content to go without Power Up Punch's boost, why not try Ice Punch? It handles your flying weakness super well and sends Landorus T home in a box. AKA, dead. And finally, if you're more worried about getting status than attacks, swap out Substitute for Heal Bell. Power up punches all day. Eat your heart out, Mega Kang. There's a new puncher in town. And she's a cute bunny girl. And that's that. 
I'm Ronda Rousey, Ronda Rousey is Lopany, and Lopany is awesome and quite the looker. You are weird. If you love other Pokemon who wear clothes, click here for the Machamp episode or here for Ludicolo the Party Deck. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe. And if you already are, why not support us by heading over to patreon.com slash thatonevideogamer. You too can have your name in the credits. I'm Pokekills. And I'm Ronda Rousey. Hey, wait. Tune in next week for another fun episode of The, the Dex. Dex. <laughs> Case clothed. Also, go wear clothed. <laughs> That Megalopony is a kickboxer, right? Or at least some kind of 80s aerobics workout deal? Probably mostly two, 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 two. And if you don't get at least one KO with Lopony after all that, you need to go back to school. Just saying, throwing it down. Go back to school, kids. Summertime's over. Actually, not really. Originally, Playboy bunnies were wraith, wraith, were wraiths. Better be careful.